the Yanmar and how we replace these belts. All right, I did a little overhaul on the belts and the hoses and the water pump. The water pump was fine. I'm sorry, the water strainer was fine. Had barely anything in it, just rinsed it out. I replaced, oh, and I did find out anyway, there is only one on my through hole. The other one was there, looks fine, but guess what, when I tightened it, it broke. So every once in a while, replace those clamps. Needless to say, especially where water first enters. There's a leak somewhere back here on the actual filter, cheap plastic. So I'm going to buy another one. They're only like $65. There's a class two, what do we call the army drip, drip, drip leak on there. This is a new hose. I like this because I can see the water flowing through. This is the only good vantage point I can see it. This is not pressure or hot. So new stainless steel clamps there. The water pump, as you saw from previous, I reconditioned it, took out the blockage, oiled it down, took as much rust as I could, scrubbed it down. I'm going to pray that works, but if it doesn't, hey, at least I tried. Two bolts, that's it. Now, this belt, there's a secret. You see that screw right there? You cannot tighten it. It's behind the one. It's behind that one that actually tightens. You can tighten that one all day, nothing will happen. You must go to the one behind the alternator and tighten it that way. So I have new water hoses all the way from here to here to where it was leaking and to up and around to the heat exchanger. At this point, I'm ready to turn it on. I'm not worried about a little drip drip. I wanna see my water pumps working. So with that, That baby squirt. Unlike other boats now. So this is at fifteen hundred. Well, that's all folks. Able to